So hello YouTube. Today, today we'll be taking a look at this very full Marmark 1 or 2 from Special Hobby. <clears throat> 148 scale. Um, this is another interesting um, uh, British British fighter that was used in World War II and also after World War II. It was a carrier-borne attack bomber. Uh, it has some cool box art. Most of these special hobby kits <coughs> have a good box art. So wait, <coughs> we have a color instruction sheet. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five. You have five trees of, of gray plastic. Is a uh, tree of uh, clear plastic. Pure parts, which are um, uh, resin parts, photo etched, decals. Film as well. We start here with cockpit, and you see it's a really detailed cockpit. Nice side walls, and a lot of detail here. The film, and everything. And here's the fuselage. And here we're, we're building the, the cockpit more. Here's the other side of the wall, and you see all the detail that goes into it. As well as here. And here you put the, uh, the built cockpit into the fuselage. The symbol of the wings. And here putting the wings onto the aircraft with the, the gun emplacements, the horizontal stabilizers. Here we have the intake. And you see it has a detailed intake here. There's also You, this is the intake for the Mark 1. This is the intake for the Mark 2. I'll probably be building a Mark 1. It's an earlier version. I want the. I have to look a little bit better, but I want the version, the most upgraded version that was built in World War II. So then we have here the wing weights, uh, tail wheel. Then we built the main landing gear and install it. It looks like it's pretty detailed as well. And you have, of course, uh, have the option of open or closed. Then here we have this hump, rump here, and the doors. Here's the the tail hook, propeller. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I'm trying to see where it goes on. You have clear parts to the lights in the back as well as the lights on the wingtips. Front and back as well. We have seat belts. Here's the seats. Canopy. I you always do that last. The exhausts. I'm building the exhaust and propeller on as well as here the landing light. And it looks like you even have the inside part of it. And here we go, the markings. This is from the HMS Eagle. HMS Arc Royal. You see it's in green and gray.
HMS Illustrious. This one as well, but this looks like a this is night version, I believe. I mean, it looks like there's really detailed painting instructions here. For here, the wingtips they look. The wingtips look like a desert camo, but then you go here and it's a little different. Here we have uh, one based in Crete. And we have a couple other kits they make, a Fairy Albacore and a Gloucester E28. Never heard of this one actually. Of course the Albacore I know. And there's more kits. Barracuda, Spitfire, Blackburn, Rock Mark 1, Supermarine Spitfire, Firefly, Skua, Seafire. Two versions of a sea fire. So here, take a look at the decals, and the, here we have the photo etch and also the film. The decals look really good, really clear. And the randels are good, good and centered. I kind of like to try to paint these on because I think they look better painted. And sometimes the decals don't lay down all that great on the on the tail and stuff. So I, I find it better to paint them. Um, you see, here the photo etch is already colored. All of it is. And a lot of different parts there. Just the cockpit instrument panel. Looks really nice. Seat belts look nice. Some nice parts there. Here are our wings. Nice engraved panel lines. Here's some parts that need to be cut off. It's gonna require a little cleanup, but no big deal. Here are the inside of the wheel the wheel base. You have the nice ridges there for it. The yeah, structural parts. There's not any really big detail there for it though. I mean like um, hydraulic lines, electric lines, or anything like that. It's not on there. But at least they added a little detail in there. Here's the fuselage. Once again, nice engraved panel lines. See some nice rivet marks around the wings here. Some of them look a little deeper than the others, so like they're not all exactly even. Definitely needs to be washed. Here we have the interior here. You can see. We saw in the instructions there's a lot of interior detail, but there's also a little here molded into it as well. So it's a really nice interior. And here we have the two different propellers for the Mark 1, Mark 2, as well as the Mark 1 intake. Panel lines are nice, rivet, light, rivet holes are there too. The exhaust, they, they look really a lot similar to the uh, 
um, hurricane exhaust actually. I think the hurricane exhaust actually had four pieces. Four. It's the same type. Here you have on the gear bay doors. These doors you also have some detail there. And you see on both sides of the, the intake. Both sides of this intake you also have the detail as well. Nice. So here's the, this, the rump there, the gun emplacements, the other exhaust, more propellers. This should be the Type 2 exhaust, uh, Type 2 intake. You see it's in two pieces instead of one, but it has nice panel lines as well. You have this same intake, pretty much. So it's a little rough around the corner here, but that's not so big a problem. But it has those little bumps on it that it's going to have to be carefully cleaned out with a knife. Uh, where the molding didn't come out exactly right. But it's not so big thing. Here's some interior parts. Uh, radios and stuff. You look nice. Yeah, gear bay doors also with detail. A little flash, not anything too terrible. Here we have the horizontal stabilizers. Very nice detail. Tail wheel, also nice. The, the main landing gear. See, it's a four, four pieces, so of course you're going to have to take care of the, uh, the ridge where you have to glue the two parts together, that's normal. The two parts, but you see uh, the landing gear looks good. Here we have nice detail on the bait, ba the, these main bay doors. This side also nice detail. Nice looking parts. Here's the tail, uh, tail piece where the where the tail hook goes. You can see the outline there even. Some internal parts here. You can see all the detail here on these parts here. Looks really nice. Gonna clean up really nice. Lots of lots of detail everywhere here. Pin marks are non-existent. At least not any part you can see. We have some small pin marks here in the back, but that's not any big deal. There's a pin mark in the seat, but I believe. No, there's no cushion for the seat. So the pin mark in the seat is going to have to be cleaned up. There's that one. Where's the other seat? Right here. Yeah, both, both seats have pin marks. It's going to have to be cleaned up. Here's the other gun emplacements. The other, the, the one had two, this is four. This is the one to use, actually. Here we have the clear tree. It looks pretty nice, actually. You see here's the landing bay, landing bay. Um, the landing light cover. The lights for the wingtips. Here, 
These are the, the rear lights. The canopies have really good uh, frames on them. And here are all the resin parts. See, there's a cockpit interior. It has to be cut out here and this flash around it there. But it's really nice. It has the bottom of the stick here. It has this really good cloth um, um, texture to it. A lot of detail on the sidewall. We have a, uh, another set of seats here. So you don't have to use the kick seats. You can use these. Look. This piece. Really nice detail. Really nice. It's the other seat. Also, open them up for anything. The seats are better. A lot better. Sidewall. Not sure what that is. More. This looks like the floor. Also sidewalls. Two sidewalls. <laughs> A lot of flash. They both look really nice. Lots of good detail there. These are the sidewalls for the back part. Then we have a small tree of small detail parts. But all the resin parts have a lot of flash on them, so that's going to have to be cleaned up. It looks like a really, really nice kit. Really, really, really good detail, good parts. You can use the kit parts for the interior. There's a lot of resin parts for it as well. The decals look good. There's a lot of photo photo that goes with it too. It's definitely a nice looking kit. So I welcome you. I welcome you to join me next time, and we're going to um, take a look at the Samua S35, it's a French tank, and 135 scale from Tamiya. Now, I can't say I'm all that impressed with French tanks, but they weren't actually that great. And one of the problems was you see how the commander is looking out of the back of the turret here. That was a main, major problem, from what I heard, how they designed that. But we're going to take a look at this uh, kit, and uh, I'll see you then. Please like and subscribe, and until then.